Come here. What happened? George just killed a defenseless animal. What? Oh, what I, just, I just swatted a fly. Oh, oh, oh. oh here we go. Ooh. Here we go. And now it's dead. What if it had young living somewhere? Young? Like maggots? What, are you serious? This man has a fetish for violence. No, I don't. I... He has a fetish for violence. We're talking about a fly. Now, where does it end? I mean, you kill a fly, you kill a bird, you kill a bird, you kill a dog, you kill a dog, you kill a soldier. I'm sorry, I didn't know I was killing soldiers. I, I, I support the troops. Yeah. Oh, I cannot even look at you right now. I, I'm sorry, I'm trying to learn all the rules. There are no rules here, George, except no swatting flies. The movie's about a couple who's stressed out and stuck and in New York City, and they, the George loses his job, so they're forced out of their apartment in New York to live with his brother in Atlanta, who's a jerk. And on, on their way, they stop at a bed and breakfast, they think, um, to sleep for the night. And they are, meet this amazing group of people who live on a commune. And all the fun ensues, yes. Thematically, we're just trying to figure out, um, you know, where, where, where do you need to be in life to find happiness? That was the jumping off point. Let's stay a month. <laughs> Two weeks. Let's get you guys into your first day at Elysium. Wrap your fingers around the base of it, work the shaft down at the tip, and then the hot white stuff just shoots out. What? Careful, it's gonna go all over your belly. I can identify with the character. I, I identify, I'd say, with most characters that I've played <laughs> there. Um, but, you know, somebody trying to kind of find their way, figure it out, and, and, and really feeling the pressures of living in the world today with the economy being what it is today. Um, and I think that this character reacts to certain things about commune life in a way that I would probably react. So. I related to her in, in, in the experience that I had making the movie. Like, my walls came down and there was no sort of, which I don't even think I realized that I had such sort of anxiousness or, or you know, so I kind of felt like I had a freedom in myself that I, I, I was reconnected with. What is this? Ayahuasca tea. Reeks like a cat butt. It has hallucinogenic properties. I can fly! You can't fly! I believe I can fly! If you're gonna get literal with an R. Kelly song, let's do Trapped in the Closet! It's that perfect mix of, of uh, a very funny script, very funny actors, and then the way in which David Wayne and Judd often work is they sort of really let the actors sort of improvise and do and, and kind of you know bring their own little ideas to the table. Everyone just became real 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 friends if, if some weren't already but it just it felt like family by the end of it. Nothing felt weird. Nothing felt like odd. It was just like I mean we're staring at penises and boobs and you know and that's just at, and that's just at the day. craft service table. Yeah and that's literally those were just our caterers. Yeah which would which is uncool. First of all, you'd figure that How there's at least hygiene. There, yeah. There's rules and regulations in place to prevent that. Yeah. I mean, so you know. So many pubic hairs in our salads. It was oh, terrible. Oh, God, it was awful. So, I'm light on your bio. You know, man, is it cool if maybe we, we talk about this later? Take your time. <laughs>